Hi, I'm Matthew Malcolm with American Vineyard Magazine, reporting to you from the Tree and Vine Expo in Turlock, where nearly a thousand growers gathered for industry seminars, a sponsored lunch, and to celebrate another successful harvest. One of the seminars featured Kent Dane, an entomologist with UC Berkeley, who discussed how to maintain control of grape leaf roll virus and red blotch disease in the vineyard. And it's the invasive vine mealybug, which I think is going to be the more important mealybug in the future for moving leaf roll around. Today we talked about some of the pests and pathogens that we see in grape vineyards. I focused on the grape leaf roll associated virus group, as well as red blot, which is a new pathogen in vines today. The two most important things about the grape leaf roll associated virus group is that we cannot completely keep it out of the vineyards by simply controlling the mealybug vectors. We tried spraying and spraying and spraying insecticides in one experimental block, and we still had a few vines coming in that were infected. This is probably because of mealybugs being blown in. Remember, the mealybug can acquire the pathogen very quickly. It can transmit the pathogen very quickly. So the insecticides that work as systemics cannot control the vector simply by killing it over days. It has to kill it immediately. For this reason, we have to do an area-wide control program. This means neighbors helping neighbors, monitoring for the mealybugs using pheromones, and having a load tolerance that includes roguing out the infected vines. I also spoke about red blotch, which is a new pathogen found in California, as well as throughout the U.S. and Canada. We don't know what might be moving this pathogen around. We looked at different insect vectors, and we have not had any concrete evidence that an insect is moving this pathogen. There is a group in Washington that believes leafhoppers are the, are the possible vector, but we have not been able to prove that. So at this point, we're not recommending to growers to go out and spray for leafhoppers simply because they want to control this pathogen. We don't know that they're a vector yet. And that work is still ongoing, and we'll let you know as soon as we get more conclusive evidence. Learn more about Kent's research in the January issue of American Vineyard Magazine. And be sure to attend the Tree and Vine Expo next November to earn your continuing education credits and have an enjoyable experience. I'm Matthew Malcolm. CaliforniaAgnet.com